Your product doesn't need a big budget production. It needs a scene that sells, and AI now builds it in a fraction of the time, stress, and cost. I'll show you the exact Flora workflow I use to place any product in a believable scene, then kick out video, start to finish in minutes. You can not only use this for your own brand, but you can also use it to find clients who are looking for AI creatives to develop product photography. I've been doing this myself in my own one person studio, working with clients who pay me anywhere from a few hundred bucks to a few thousand dollars per project. Welcome to Escapism. My name is Sean and I help creative professionals unlock their creativity and thrive in the age of AI. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on in the world of AI creativity, head to escapism.ai and sign up for my free newsletter. So with all these new tools coming out every week and every other week, there's a best model for this, a best model for that. I found myself trying all these different models on the different platforms, having 10 plus different subscriptions. And then I found Flora, which essentially combines all the best image and video models as well as text models onto one canvas where you can see it all in one place and develop your scenes as you go. So you can see here we go from product image to a PNG where we remove the background and then we build out three different images. And from there, you can select your favorite and start developing videos. So this first example gives you an idea of the entire workflow. Now what we're gonna do is we'll take two other products, a skincare product and a Nike shoe, and develop scenes for those. So this is exactly the workflow that you would use. So as mentioned, if you wanna remove the background of an image that you have, um, specifically a product image, you can create a new image node and then scroll down to remove background and then you hit generate and it produces this PNG. So from here, we wanna drop this product into a specific scene. So we're gonna create a new image node. And in fact, I'm gonna create three image nodes and you're gonna add a prompt here. So I've already done this within ChatGPT and I've got the skincare bottle. I wanna put it into a jungle scene. So. How I did this with ChatGPT, I voice noted it, asked it for a detailed prompt based on this image that I had in my mind, which resulted in this prompt. So we're gonna drop that in there. I'm gonna choose a couple of different models here. So we're gonna start with Flux Context Max, which I feel is the best model for image photography or product photography. Uh, but then just for safe measure, we're gonna create two new image nodes. You can literally just copy and paste it. And what we're gonna do here is select different models. So we're gonna get Nano Banana for this one, and then we're gonna use Sea Dream, which is also an incredible model. And in my opinion, even beats Nano Banana. So we've got these three scenes from here. You can choose the style. This isn't absolutely vital, but I tend to choose photorealistic just to ensure that um, the product photography is as realistic as possible. So now we've got our prompt and our three image models. We're gonna hit generate on all three. And I'm gonna do the same with this Nike shoot. So the outputs are gonna be varied. Some are not gonna make sense. So let's have a look here. We've got this product. Okay, the, you can see here, it's not super sharp in terms of the, the text. This is flux context. We can always refine this using an upscaler, but this image is, it's decent, but it's not amazing. This is a little more interesting from Nano Banana. Um, much clearer text on the bottle a much more interesting scene, but it's created a square image. Um, I'll show you exactly how you can fix that in a second. And then we have Sea Dream, which I think has, it's probably the best one of, of all three. Uh, so from here, what I would do is I would refine this further. If we potentially like this image the most, but it's in the wrong aspect ratio, you can create a new image uh, and then adjust the aspect ratio accordingly. So I'm gonna use flux context max just to reposition this in a, in a new ratio. 
but I think this one is definitely the best. And from here, we'll go straight into creating a video. If you have a low res image, you can always upscale it using either Topaz or uh, Magnific. Um, but in this case, I'm pretty happy with the output. So we're gonna try create a video and to see what all the video image or the video models are capable of, we're gonna create a few different versions. So for this scene, I'd like the camera to zoom out with a bit of subtle movement in the jungle in the background. So let's say the camera gently zooms out as the jungle in the background subtly animates to life. Okay, not the best prompt. And in this case, I would hit enhance prompt because it's gonna make it a lot more detailed and probably reference a lot of the things that I didn't in my prompt. So you can see here, just a lot more detailed. So let's hit generate on that. Uh, and we can create a couple of versions of this. So I always like to do this because another great thing about Flora is if you're struggling with mo one model and you can't produce what you really want to, you can just change the model and more often than not, you'll find something that works. Uh, so I'm gonna create two different versions, both videos. So for the videos, I'm gonna use VO3 Cling 2.1 and Sea Dance. So all of these are phenomenal and each has their own quirks. Sometimes the prompts don't quite go according to plan. Uh, and in the meantime, whilst we allow that to generate, I'm going to come check out the... Uh, and then let's see what VO3 has come up with here. Okay, there's a couple of weird little bits here. It's a good start, but it's not it's not perfect. So let's try run this with Kling and C Dance and see what they come up with. So it's an iterative process. Oftentimes you could create many, many images trying to find what works and you get stuck. The key is to get better with your prompts and iterate one bit at a time until you get the exact type of shot that you're looking for. <laughs> okay, you can see how this can be frustrating at times. You're not gonna get the perfect image each and every time. I don't know why it's made it completely green, but this here is good enough. For the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna run with this image from Nano Banana and then we're gonna create video. So uh, for this one, again, I'm gonna hit enhance prompt. And at the same time, let's copy. It's always best to copy and paste these before you hit generate, because once you hit generate, you can't copy and paste until it's completed. Okay, so let's choose the uh, cling. And you can try any of these models. All of them are capable. I've just found through many months of experience that at the moment, these three are the most reliable in terms of um, getting the output you're looking for. So we can hit generate on all three of these. Okay, and finally, we can see Kling's version here. It's changed the color of the shoe, that's not good. But I do like the, this is definitely more of what I had in mind uh, in terms of the, the look and feel of the video. So from here, I'd probably rerun this again using Kling and just update it to make sure that the shoe remains red. So I hope that gives you a great idea of how easy it is to create amazing product images within Flora. The reason why I use Flora is that new image and video models are added basically as soon as they're dropped. So I can test all of these in one place with one subscription without the hassle of moving between tools. Flora is my go-to tool and it's allowed me to cancel about eight other subscriptions to AI creative tools and build all of my creative work in one space. I highly recommend it for anyone who's looking to take their AI creativity to a professional level. If you want a step-by-step -step process of how to do this within Flora, check out the article linked in the description and I walk you through each and every element that you need to do to get to the end result.
If you want to level up your creative workflow and give Flora a try, check out the link in the description to get 25% off. I hope this was useful and thank you for watching.